Good morning students. Welcome to Divine Public School. I am your science teacher. We are learning physics chapter 8 motion. Now as in we have completed this chapter, we are going to see word problems. Okay. So we will see one by one but before that let us write down all formulas and the units. You also take a note of it and then we will start the word problem one by one. Okay. So the first formula we learn is of speed that is distance upon time taken okay so what is v we can call it as speed s is distance and t is time okay and the si unit is meter per second the si unit i'll write down again the si unit so the si unit is meter per second then the second formula we learned was acceleration v minus u upon t okay so a is acceleration and v and u we differentiated this as final velocity and u as initial velocity Okay, and the SI unit is meter per second square. Then the third thing we saw was three equations of motion. S is equal to ut plus half a t square. V is equal to u plus a t. And 2as is equal to v square minus u square. So this is these are the three equations of motion which we have learned and all the quantities are familiar as what we have just saw. Then the last formula for the circular motion we saw was V is equal to 2 pi R upon T. Okay, so this is how This is how we have find out, right? So V is equal to 2 pi R upon T. Again, the unit is same meter per second, but what is R? R is the radius, okay? So this is how our formula is. Make sure you know all these formulas and the SI unit for all the same, okay? The distance, what is the unit of distance? It is meter time second speed meter per second again i told acceleration is meter per second square and all okay so now let me take you to the exercise i'll help you for the same okay let's see so if you read this question the first question tells you an athlete completes one round of a circular track. Before we go ahead, make sure you understand the question. You read the question two, three times before you attempt it. So make sure you read it twice and then we will see. Okay. okay now. I want you to read this question and try to understand and then I'll explain it. Okay, so an athlete completes one round of a circular track of diameter. So if the given thing is a diameter 200 meter in time 40 seconds. What will be the distance covered and the displacement at the end of 2 minutes 20 seconds. Okay, so let me just reframe it for you. So this is a circular track, okay. This is a circular track. Suppose you started your journey from here, okay. And what did they say? An athlete completes a one round of circular track of diameter 200 meter in 40 seconds.
okay so let me draw a diameter here so this is our diameter the diameter is 200 meter so if you given a diameter is 200 meter what do you get as a radius 200 meter upon 2 that is 100 meter so you know the simple formula of radius to diameter is d by 2 okay then coming back to the question for one round it takes what is the time taken in for one round for one round it take 40 seconds to complete one round it takes 40 seconds okay so now here what we have to see is we have to find out the distance and displacement at the end of 2 minutes and 20 seconds now first of all 2 minutes and 20 seconds so 2 minutes is 120 second plus 20 second so that is 140 second so in order to find out the distance first we find out how many rounds so we can say one round or we can say in 40 second in 40 second it completes one round right so in 140 second it completes how many round understand this small thing so that is equal to 1 into 140 upon 40 so what do you get 7 upon 2 that is 3.5 rounds so basically we need to find out a person has completed 3.5 round in 2 minutes 20 seconds and we are finding what we are finding we are finding distance and displacement now again I told you that thing there is a difference between distance and displacement right there is a difference between distance is the actual length of the path traveled by an object and displacement is the shortest distance between the start point and the end point so now here if you see first of all we are trying to find out the distance so distance okay so distance covered in one round so what is distance covered in one round can I say that is equal to 2 pi r okay so 2 pi 3.14 and r is 100 so 2 into 314 upon 100 into 100 so 100 100 get cancelled so it is 628 meter so a distance covered in one round is 3628 meter so distance covered in 3.5 round is okay so that is 3.5 into 628 okay so what do you get when you multiply this you have to cancel and you get 2198 meter so this is what you get is a distance covered right so basically we get one answer out of a question and what is that distance now we are going to find out displacement now what is displacement see this is one round okay this is second round third round and the last round is half so half means it is going to reach here only so basically this is the end point this is the start point and this is the end point so what is displacement what is this placement ok 
okay so what is displacement if you see after 3.5 rounds right what is the displacement so displacement displacement after 3.5 rounds that is equal to diameter right and what is diameter 200 meter okay so this is how we get both the answer we get distance s what do you get as a distance you get distance s 628 meter and you get displacement as 200 meter. right distance as 2198 meter and the displacement is 200 meter so this is again i want you to do and see this whole question and try to solve in your book again okay one for the practice and one in your fair book now let's see the next question now see joseph jogs from one end a to another end b of a straight 300 meter road in two minutes 30 seconds okay let us draw so joseph is jogging in a straight path so this is a straight path from a to b okay how much distance it covered it can be 300 meter and how much time it is going to take 2 minutes 30 seconds okay now what then it turns around and jog 100 meter to the point C in another 1 minute so he turn around so, so let's say he turn around and jogs 100 meter and reaches to the point C so this is 100 meter and it take one minute so what did they ask you here is what is the average speed and velocity in jogging from A to B so first case is from A to B and second case is from A to C so let's see the first case A to B so we have to find out average speed and velocity okay so what is average speed average speed is equal to total distance average speed is equal to total distance upon time taken total time taken basically so we can say what is average speed average speed is equal to total distance upon total time fine so what is total distance 300 meter right we are just looking from a to b understand this one thing we are not looking from a to c so it is only 300 meter and what is total time 2 minute 30 seconds now make sure you have to convert this into seconds i always told you you have to use mks system mks is meter kilogram second so it is 300 upon 300 upon 2 minutes is 120 so it is 150 second so it is 2 meter per second so this is average speed from A to B then we are going to find out average velocity now what is average velocity what is the difference between speed and velocity I told you what is difference speed is distance upon time taken and velocity is displacement upon time Exactly. Speed is distance upon time taken and velocity is displacement upon time taken. 
okay so let's see average velocity that is equal to displacement now displacement can never be total understand this thing displacement is what that is the shortest distance so how can that be total the time can be total okay so such small things such basic things you have to please understand now to displacement is what again it is 300 only and time is also the same so it is again 2 meter per second so here in this case from a to b average speed is also same and average velocity is also same but our question is not done yet if you see they have asked you one more thing what is the thing they ask you they ask you to find out again speed and velocity from a to c okay so let's see both so now we are going to the a to c okay so i don't have place to go so i'll just change this thing fine so now we are putting things from a to c okay so a to c what is the total distance 300 plus 100 and what is the total time 150 second plus one minute one minute is what 60 second are you getting two minutes 30 second is what two minutes 30 second is 150 second and one minute is what again 60 second so it is 400 upon 210 okay so when you cancel this thing when you cancel this thing okay what do you get 40 upon 21 so it is 1.9 sec meter per second clear now now what next total display now displacement is what again i said you that is the shortest distance now from a to c a to c what is the displacement is it 400 come on think is it 400 no that's not 400 okay so what is that it is not 400 it is 200 yes why 200 a to c if you just see a to c a to c is what 300 minus 100 so it is 200 only and what is total time total time remains the same so if you cancel this thing it is 20 upon 21 so what do you get when you cancel so it is 20 divided by 21 so it is 0 0.95 meter per second clear so in both the cases if you see they have asked you speed also and they have asked you velocity also clear so i hope you get it what i am trying to say average speed and average velocity right so we have seen two questions of the our exam try to put your effort try to see both the questions right and i am going to give you homework uh, not the third one fourth one fourth one you try to see what is given you have given acceleration and time when i'm doing when i'll do it next time you will check your answer with me okay then they'll bye take care i'll see you in the next session